Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of January 15th to January 21st, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's see your energy, spirit angels and guides. Please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Let's get one shuffle. All right. What's the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week? Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, two of wands, four of wands, six of swords at the bottom of the deck, three of cups, high priestess, page of cups, and here we have the fool. Okay. Hmm. The full three of pentacles temperance. Okay. So there's an energy of you feeling a little bit indecisive, Scorpio. Actually, I don't know if that's you now that I'm looking at it. I think I need to verify that just to make sure. Someone is indecisive here in regards to whether they should stay in a relationship or um, or move on or just be friends with someone because we do have the Three of Cups, which can represent friendship, especially with the Page of Cups. So someone's indecisive. Should I just stay friends with this person? Should I get into a relationship with this person again? Or should I just move on altogether? So I don't know if that's you or if that's your person. What are Scorpio's feelings for the person that they're dealing with, um, Spirit? What are Scorpio's feelings for the person that they're dealing with in regards to love? Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Hangman. Scorpio, it does look like you really want to just focus on yourself. I'm getting more of an energy of, I just want to do me. I just want to do me. I just want to focus on me. I just want to focus on my work, my career, my finances, my goals. Um, I don't feel like you want to be bothered. Yeah, with the Fool card and the Three of Pentacles, you might... You might be um, doing some sort of training or um, studies with the Three of Pentacles, or this could be a new job or a new business or just some sort of project, some sort of new project that you're interested in that you want to um, work on and focus on. Also, temperance is here. This is all about healing and and being balanced and being stable in your energy. Also being very independent. Um, there's an energy of you feeling excited or optimistic about something new in your life. So I don't 
feel like you really want to focus on love or relationships. I'm not getting that. I feel like you're perfectly fine just keeping to yourself. So it kind of looks like your person is indecisive here in regards to whether they should try to try to just be friends with you or whether they should try to like establish an actual love relationship with you or whether they should just let it go, let it all go and move on and, you know, head in a new direction away from you. Yeah, I feel like they're a little bit stuck and indecisive here. All right, let me look at your energy, um, your person's energy a little bit more. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week, please. All right, show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is their energy towards Scorpio? Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. And the Devil. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck. Page of Swords, Ten of Wands, Two of Cups, and yeah, the Sun. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Look at this. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. I mean, King of Swords, Temperance. You know, I don't think this person likes your confident attitude, Scorpio. Yeah. They don't like this energy here, I feel, with the temperance card. You know, they don't like the fact that you seem to be doing better than them. Yeah, they you seem to be doing better than them. That's how they're viewing you. I don't think they like it. They don't like the fact that you're expanding, you're growing, you're progressing, you're succeeding in some way, shape, or form. At least that's how they're, they're viewing you. They're viewing you as someone who's elevating. Someone who's expanding. Someone who's like leveling up. And it makes them feel insecure. It makes them feel emotionally insecure. Uh, why does it make them feel Insecure. Let's take a look at that. Tell me about the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Look at look at how beautiful your energy is. Look at that. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun. I don't know what you're doing, Scorpio, but you're definitely thriving. You're thriving or you're succeeding in some way, shape, or form. You're leveling up in some way, shape, or form. Either you're doing something or just like your energy and your confidence is increasing here. More and more. Hmm. It's making them nervous. Okay, what is this person... Um, and secure here with the king of cups and the king of swords this person has a little bit of inferiority complex i am already seeing that i don't feel like this person has a very good self-esteem or 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 has very good self-confidence seven of wands and the three of swords 
Yeah, I feel like this person is nervous that you're going to like um, discard them, you know, like you're going to like leave them in the dust, block them, reject them, and permanently end things with them or walk permanently walk away from them and and leave them in the past. You're nervous about that. Hmm. So this person is watching you with the Page of Swords and keeping tabs on you. Um, we do have the Two of Cups here. So this person does feel a, re a really intense soulmate connection with you and a very strong emotional connection. Now with the Devil showing up, it does look like this person feels um, an unhealthy attachment to you. I feel like this person's a little bit borderline obsessed with you. You know, whether they show it or not, I do feel like they are borderline obsessed. I feel like this person's very possessive over you. They do feel like you are their property. You belong to them. You can't go anywhere. But the thing is that you are going somewhere. I don't know where, but you're... You know, you're, you're climbing up the mountain. Six of Wands to the sun. You're climbing up the mountain. You're going somewhere in your life. You're going places. And this person doesn't want you to go anywhere. They want you to stay stuck on them. They want you to stay attached to them the, way, the same way that they are attached to you. But it seems very unhealthy. And toxic. Hmm. But I don't, I don't feel like you care with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're, you're just focused on, on being your best self, on improving yourself, on doing what's best for you. I'm not seeing emotions on your in your energy. Anything else about Scorpio's emotions and feelings for this person, Spirit? For this week? What are Scorpio's emotions? Ooh, Queen of Cups. Okay, you do have emotions, but... Ooh, Queen of Swords. Okay. So, you do have feelings with the Queen of Cups... You definitely have strong feelings for this person. But with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're trying to not let your emotions get the best of you or, you know, cloud your judgment, influence you in, in a way that might make might cause you to make some sort of reckless decisions. I feel like you're trying to stay practical, logical, reasonable, realistic. You're looking at the facts. You're not looking at your emotions. You're looking at the facts. This is kind of like an energy of, um, yes, I love this person, or yes, I care about this person, but, you know, love is not enough, you know, Love is not enough to invest in a relationship. It also has to make sense with the Queen of Swords. It has to make sense. It has to be realistic. So I just feel like, I don't, what is this Queen of Swords saying connected to Scorpio? Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. And the world, you're tired of uh, you're tired of giving this person chance after chance. You feel like the okay. You feel like you've given this person enough chances, and they keep disappointing you, and you're over it. You're all about thinking logically at at this time. Being logical, being reasonable, being realistic with yourself. 
this person is watching you. They can see that you're becoming more empowered in your energy, more confident in your energy, and it's freaking them out. And I see them planning something here. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to end the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what's the overall outcome of the relationship going to be? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.